One of the standard themes of science fiction films and books is an arboretum or an artificial garden, growing food for the people on the spacecraft as well as recycling all the oxygen. Being many experiments on board the various orbiting space stations had some successes, also some problems in growing plants in orbit around our Earth. Being issues with the light source, with the gravity. However, if you want to grow larger plants like trees in space, there is another issue. It comes from a rather unexpected source. And whilst trees are growing up on Earth, no matter where they're growing, virtually every day they're subject to the wind blowing on them. Sometimes no more than general breeze, others a full blown gale. And whilst a strong gale can represent a threat to trees when there are lots of leaves on their branches, what hadn't been understood fully until recently is that a lack of wind can also be a major problem for trees. When a tree is growing on the open earth, subject to the winds of varying speeds as it grows, this push on the tree bends as a result. This bending puts stress on the tree. And rather than this being a problem for the tree, actually essential for the proper growth and structural stability of the tree. There are two major components in the tree trunk, the outer sapwood and the inner heartwood. As the outer sapwood dries and shrinks, becomes the inner heartwood. Also as it's drying and shrinking, the result is that it's being under compression, whilst surrounded by sapwood which is under tension. This combination helps the trunk of the tree with the solid core of the heartwood remain stable whilst allowing the upper reach of the tree, predominantly sapwood, to bend with the wind. Without this combination, the tree would only be able to bend up half as much before breaking under stress. Now, when the wind blows upon the tree, it's constantly moving. As a result, it can create something called reaction wood, which actually has a higher proportion of lignin, which is present in the structure of the plant cell walls, along with cellulose. Wind blows on the tree, an attempt to kind of Keep it upright, produces more reaction wood, like a scaffold to support the tree, prevent it falling over. Now, it was discovered in the biosphere that the trees were grown within the biosphere because they were sheltered from the wind, they didn't lay down this reaction wood, instead, they grew straight upwards and fairly tall. These they did until they become too tall for their mass and basically collapsed under their own weight. So, in order to grow tall plants in any kind of spacecraft, this lack of reaction wood will have somehow to be dealt with. As possible, with selective use of light from different directions, you could alter levels of auxin in the growing plant, which in turn alters the rate of growth of different sides of the plant, possibly making it strong enough to hold up under its own weight as a really big plant. Now, if all of this seems a little too futuristic to have any real practical use here in the current day, there are plants which this also affects right now. Plants which spend the early part of their lives indoors or in greenhouses before being transferred outside also have not been subject to the wind in the early part of their lives and also this may make them structurally weaker than plants grown in the wind they may need to be staked or supported to make up for this weakness until they can adapt to new growing conditions. So wind, plants and trees rather unexpected results.